Hey guys, Phil here from jailbreakitouch.com. Today I'm going to show you guys something really, really cool. This is a beta flash player for the iPod Touch or the iPhone. This thing is really cool. So one of the things you got, you're going to have to have is a jailbroken iPod Touch with firmware 2.0 and above or an iPhone um, with firmware 2.0 and above also. Both of them need to be jailbroken. I don't know if it's going to work for the second generation one that's been jailbroken using uh, using the tethered uh using tethered with um, with a Mac I have yet to do that so if anybody's done it you can let me know but for the first generation iPod touch you need to have 2.0 and above and the iPhone itself also so what you want to do is head to Cydia you're going to want to install a repository that's called iMobile Cinema and I'll show you I already have it installed in here but I'll show you what it is like I said this flash player is is really cool so once City is done doing its thing, we'll head down to, you're going to go to your selections, and you're going to find it under repositories. Now I already have it installed, but it will be under repositories under the letter I. What you can do from there is you can head to your sources. You'll see here iMobile Cinema. What you want to do is click on it. And once you click on it, it'll take you into whatever's under its packages. Like whatever packages it has, and you'll see that there's a bunch of them here. So iMobile Cinema for 2.0 is the one that you want. There's also an on-off switch for those who use boss preferences, and one called SB Control, which is really cool. And I'll show you that one after. So we click on the iMobile Cinema, click install, and then confirm it and it will install. And for those who are unsure what SB settings are, like I said, I'll show you what it is. So it's just going to reload the data here. Once it's done, what, you can go back to Cydia or you can just exit right out. We'll go into, go into Safari. Now, what I, the website that I use was quicksilverscreen.com. Just to give you an example of what can be done. If you take a look at the black here, this means this is good. You can click on play and the application will play. If you click on, if you find one that's white and have a line through it, like a, like a no enter type thing, that means the coding's probably different. It won't play the uh, the Flash movie. So this is going to be running Flash right now. And what you'll see here is streaming a Flash video. So this is real time. This is over Wi-Fi. So certain things don't work. I noticed that uh, for those who use Facebook, it doesn't work within Facebook. At least it didn't work for me. Um, there are certain uh, there are certain things that that may not work, but for the most part, it works. There it is, streaming. Uh, this is buffering, uh, streaming everything right now. So for the SP uh, the SP pre preferences, which you which I was mentioning about, let's put my iPhone down here. So with the iPhone, what happens is at the as, if I take my finger and slide across the top this new menu will pop down called SB, SB settings and what it does allows me to control my 3G, Bluetooth, brightness, Wi-Fi there's a whole bunch of stuff on here well if you install that SB control SB settings then install the SB control for the iMobile cinema you can turn it on or off within your, within your iPod touch so SB settings is pretty cool you just click your home button and it disappears now for those who want to hear sound we'll see if I have anything up here And I don't. Oh, we got something here. We got Lord of the Rings here, so we'll just stream that and show you what it sounds like. So right here, this is streaming Flash. So 
So that's it. iMobile Cinema Beta Flash Player for the iPod Touch slash iPhone. Uh, really cool. Definitely install it. So visit jailbreakitouch.com if you have any questions. Sign up, be a member, and help our community grow. All right, thanks a lot, guys.